Hi there, Pete here, coming away from the usual format to bring you some breaking news. It's been announced today that scientists working from a garden shed in Crapham Bottom, Eastbourne, England, have discovered the sun to be a lot closer than initially thought. The discovery, first made by Dr Harry Starkus, team leader of the Crapham Bottom Scientific Institute's top research facility, told Nonsense News that the find literally stared them right in the face. So it's over to our scientific correspondent, Dr Peter Stein, who's at the facility. Thanks, Pete. Well, I'm here live at Crapham Bottom, and the place is literally buzzing with scientists and news teams from across the world. Yes, it's groundbreaking news that shook the scientific community, with many scientists, both here and abroad, being stunned by the discovery that the Sun is not 93 million miles away as was originally thought. It seems just by looking at the Earth's temperature variations that the obvious discovery was made. The word coming from the facility is that Dr Harry Starkus used a simple thermometer and took temperature readings at the equator and at the South Pole and discovered the temperature differences cannot occur with the sun being 93 million miles away. With this news being spread across the world, as I speak, many people are trying to come to terms with the news. I'm trying desperately to find out more information as we speak. Dr Harry Starkus, can you tell the viewers at home more about the scorching news? Hello Dr Peter Stein, this is just fantastic news. It's going to change our world as we know it. It's very simple, and yet it took us all by surprise. For my experiment, calculations were carried out which determined a loss of 58 degrees centigrade of the sun's surface temperature for every one million miles. This means that when the sun's rays impact the Earth, there is a 0.4% difference in the sun's temperature at the equator to the temperature at the poles. Subsequently, this means a 0.2% difference in average temperatures at those two locations. So it's clear our current temperature variations of around 50 degrees centigrade between the coldest and warmest locations mean the sun cannot be 93 million miles away. There's still much to discuss and much to do, but the initial findings are just out of this world. We're all shocked by what we've discovered. But what about the Earth's atmosphere and magnetosphere? How do they affect your findings? We have discussed those aspects at great length, but everyone here is of the view that the Earth's atmosphere would not affect the temperature variations I measured. It's shown that the magnetosphere is weaker at the poles, so higher temperatures would be recorded. But we don't see that. We never realised that until I took those important measurements with the thermometer. It really is an exciting moment in history for science. Well, there you go, everyone. Great news all round at Crapham Bottom. So it's back to you, Pete, at the newsroom. Thanks, Dr. Peter Stein. Well, there you go. It certainly was nonsense that we ever considered the sun to be 93 million miles away. So next time you're on a seven-day Antarctic polar cruise, don't pack your swimsuit. So till next time, always remember, if something doesn't make sense, it's nonsense. Thank you.